Hello everybody, Dave here at OnlineMotorsports.com in Plainfield, Illinois. And what I'm going to do for you in this video is give you a little brief walk around video going over some of the components on our 1991 Chevrolet Corvette. Uh, it is a 1991 Corvette Sport Coupe. It's presented in uh, medium quasar blue metallic uh, with black leather sport bucket seats which are dual power. Now there's been a few little items added to this. It has been slightly modified. Under the hood you're going to find the original L98 5.7 liter. It's been bored and stroked to a, a 383 stroker and uh, it's fitted with a lot of hardware just to start covering some of it. I know we're probably going to miss a little bit. Hopefully uh, if anyone has any questions they can get a hold of me right through the uh, gallery and bring a trailer. Uh, it's equipped with a pro charger supercharger. We've got a Holley intake manifold. Heads have been ported and polished. You can see down there it's been fitted with some hooker long tube headers. The exhaust still, ha is still uh, has the uh, original catalytic converter but after the converter back it is uh, it's been fitted with a B&B &B all stainless steel exhaust system which really gives this car excellent sound. And uh, with the headers, a little bit more breathability. Uh, inside that motor, now this uh, this engine has been taken apart and beefed up to, to handle the stress of some of the uh, some of the performance items added. Uh, the block received performance bearings, Vanola pistons and rods, uh, upgraded camshafts. Um, like I said, I mentioned the uh, the Holly intake manifold. It's also been upgraded with the uh, Holly engine management system, which replaces the computer, the factory computer, to make all these, all these add-ons work in concert. It's really the right way to do it. Um, it has got uh, twin intercoolers. Those are mounted right in the lower valence on each side. It's got an extra capacity uh, radiator, MSD ignition, uh, all the way around the vehicles received new Bilstein shocks all the way around on it so that you're not riding on 1991 shock absorbers. Wheels have been upgraded to a 17 inch what I would call more of a grand sport look wheel. I know in the listing it's saying ZR1. Uh, I think they look a little bit more like a grand sport. They're not actual grand sport wheels. Tires are offset all the way around their 17 inch wheels. In addition, uh, all the rotors have uh, been upgraded to uh, cross-drilled and grooved rotors all the way around, along with new, a new set of, uh, of uh, pads on it. It's, uh, it's a two-owner car, clean Carfax, 20,000 miles, all original paint. The paint is in beautiful condition all the way around. Um, even the front valance, really no stone chips, anything of that nature hood is uh, chip free. Uh, there has been some uh, vinyl graphic Grand Sport hash marks. Those will come off if you're not crazy about those. They can peel right off so they're not permanent. Now inside the car I mentioned dual sport seats. Beautiful carpeting. We've got some uh, sill protectors here so nobody screws up the carpet and getting in and out because they'll do it if they're lazy. Door panels are beautiful. We've got power windows, power locks, dual power mirrors. Uh, obviously, we've got uh, tilt wheel, cruise control. It is set up with the dual power seats, which was an option from the factory. Right up here, we've got uh, fuel pressure uh, gauges and boost gauges uh, mounted on the A-pillar. Done very nicely. Center console here, I'm going to pop the hatch area. But it's equipped with uh, all the wheel lock tools, and that's the that little ratchet tool that would uh, put that glass target on and off the vehicle. Um, I've got that stored in the back. We do have photos with everything out of the back hatch area, but uh, now this has the blue tint top on it, which is nice. And uh, they're actually pretty light compared to the, the regular painted tops. And that's an, that, that again is an excellent, excellent, excellent condition. Um, 
to get rid of this. But uh, that's sort of the, the nuts and bolts of this. You can see there's been some uh, little bit of chrome uh, doodads added to it. This is your, uh, your, your recovery tank for your coolant. We've got some uh, Chevrolet uh, chrome valve covers, cold air intakes, all chrome. Just a lot of detail done to this, and unfortunately, uh, a lot of money put into it. If you uh, look at the listing, you're going to see all the receipts that we have on this car. I think we've got them going back all the way to 1993, but there's been tens of thousands. Add those up, I bet you it's uh, 30,000 in the ads uh, as far as uh, upgrades on the cars over the years. So what I'm going to do for you just in a little bit, I'm going to put together a uh, cold start video. I really can't do a driving video. It's raining again here in northern Illinois. Um, but if anybody has any questions, they can get a hold of me right through the gallery. Or they can uh, click on the uh, contact seller button. And I'd be happy to talk or chat or with anybody who has any questions on this car. So I... Give me a few minutes, I'll get that other video together and uh, we'll see you in a little bit.